Hello everyone, my name is Silver Willowing and welcome back to School of Dragons. I've been having some issues getting into the game, but finally it seems to be working. You're sleeping! But it's working now, thankfully. I hope it's gonna keep working up till the end, which is on Friday, which is very soon, which is the 30th of June, and it's coming up real fast. It's just boom, there it was. Uh, so really, I'm really happy that I'm in here now and able to cover the um, sword stealer we got out, uh, which is one of my favorite dragons from a lot of people. I've been hearing a lot of people suggesting it through the years, and you're sleeping again! It appeared first in Rise of Berg, I think, which is a mobile game by Lydia, and it's just, it's a really cool dragon. I've liked it for a while. It's kind of like, it has a bit of a racer web vibe to it, but more of a vibrant stance or a little raptor. The movements of this guy is really, really cute. I just saw him like tip tapping out of the hatchery, and I just loved it. Just the walking look at his feet are so massive. He's like all elegant when he's lifting them. I like that. I look forward to seeing that in the adult. So my main account not working. So we're playing on Grimmel right now, and we're here with I'm already dead. Let's have a look. Ooh, ooh, ho, ho, ho! Look at that. Damn. And I love the little sword detail on his butt. It's so cute. Uh, and he even has arrows in it too. You can see an arrow sticking in right there. Really, really wonderful dragon. So I want to go through the combinations so we get a look of all the colors. It seems that there's a fade between the skin and the pattern. So if I switch them around, they look like that. So yeah, they fade into each other. I reckon you could make some really impressive combinations with that. Honestly. Ooh, damn. I like how this looks. I'm just gonna say I like how that looks. So I think the coloration options are really good because you cut, you kind of color the shine, the pattern is like the shine, and then you add the base color underneath it. So you can kind of combine everything and it, it will look quite decent regardless. But even this looks cool, I'd say. It looks really, really neat. So super nice colors. I'm a fan. Okay, so we're gonna go with blue for, uh, now we're gonna go with purple for this bit. And then we're gonna go with blue. I am pleased with I'm already dead. Alright, so here we are. Just look at that texture and those colors. They fade beautifully and like I said, I reckon you can make a numerous amount of combinations and it would still look quite astounding. I love how this looks for one. And it's a it's a big shame because people like the developers did work on this and, and tried to make it good and fabulous and it's just I feel kind of terrible for being as, well, one side I do, one side I don't, but for being so hard on the game through the years, um, because things were so not working, but there were reasons behind it, not, not enough funds, and the, the CEO wasn't doing a good job at keeping up the management and everything, but there were people working on the game that actually cared, that actually wanted the game to succeed, and, and that sucks. But at the same time, as a consumer, as a receiver of the game, you just see what it is, and it was not good. But but that, that's the that's depressing, very depressing. We have here to talk about the source dealer. I'm very sorry. All right, so I love him. I think he looks really good. I want to see his walk cycle as an adult because I really like that before. Oh yeah, look at that. That is great. He looks like he's walking on eggshells or something. Like he's walking on a terrain that's kind of like ugh, icky for him. So he's very gentle on where he's putting his feet. <laughs> because his feet are very massive, very wide. That is... I... Oh, I adore it. I do. That is really good. And his running is just kind of... It's, it's still kind of that like uplifted, kind of proud, um, a bit careful approach. But uh, faster, of course, and a bit more determined. I do like that. It's a pretty cool dragon. The Sword Steel has always been a dragon that I found pretty cool. Hey Astrid, how are you doing? They also released a armor, a flight suit, um, Sword Steel a flight suit, which I find pretty cool. I think it looks pretty neat. Uh, got a lot of details here that reminisce of the uh, Sword Steel. I have seen the flying cycle before because a friend of mine had the dragon and I was next to them. But seeing it for myself, it is really nice. It, they did a really good job on this dragon. And I like how thin it is. It's, it seems very light in the air, which is what you want from an aerial creature. It has the folding the wings underneath the body, which is a somewhat new thing School Dragon started doing. I think it's cool because it fits some of the dragons. Like It's a more determined kind of dive. 
And they are mythological creatures, so it, it would make sense that they would have that passion in it. They'll be smart enough to understand that, oh, I'm going now, I'm going, I'm enjoying it. Super nice. Let's take a look at the fire. Fisher fryer. Um, yeah, pretty simple, standard, standard blow. But it's a nice little explosion. I do think so. Super cool dragon. Very nice. Very unique. I like the uh, the wings that it kind of like arrow hits those spikes it has on its wings. That is super nice to see. I'm gonna try to use the flight suit. Ooh, very cool. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, I love those wings. They look really, really great. Super cool little little addition there that you can use with your sword stealer. So we have a max speed of 7.2, pitch rate of 6, turn rate of 7.5, acceleration of 4.2 and firepower of 9.4. That's quite an impressive firepower. Um, somewhat, they're in the high end, the stats, but they're not like super great. But uh, you could use them for racing, I suppose. I guess it doesn't matter much now, but I thought it was still worth checking out. I'm just gonna feed him a little bit because he's upset. Crum crum. Oh, a nice feeding animation. That jaw just seems like it would be really, really strong. Yeah, I d oh yeah, yeah, okay. That's somewhat subtle, but that works pretty well. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it lines the glow. And then I don't know if the purple glows as well, because I made mine purple, but it does stand out a bit more. It looks like something when you hold a black light to stuff, it's kind of more neon in your eyes. That's what That's the vibe I get from this. It does look super cool. I do like it. It looks like it's on fire from the inside. It's a really neat, neat thing. Very, very pleasant to look at. We have all these different hidden world glows and when they're too over the top, it also becomes too much. So I think this is the right amount of wow to make him stand out, but not like overkill. But that's all I'm gonna cover on the Sword Stealer. I just wanted to do a showcase of it. So we have the entire catalog of dragons that were released in School of Dragons when it was online. So I'm glad we took a look at this guy. Too bad we can't get to enjoy him much longer. But uh, it's a really, really cool dragon and I'm really happy to have documented it. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you're doing well and hopefully we'll meet again. So long and take care.